Right, hey guys. Um, today's plugin walkthrough is going to be about the Tone Boosters Morphit. It's a headphone simulation and correction um, plugin. Now that sounds like a mouthful, but basically what it does is it can, uh, you know, you strap it onto your master bus while you're mixing with your headphones, and what it can do is it can you select your um, headphone type, and it'll put a corrective EQ on it so that it becomes a more flat response um, and allows you to sort of know you know the will fix the problems with your headphones actual frequency response so that you get a better mix um, that and it can also simulate um, other headphones but we'll get there now um, this thing was just released uh, well it's on KBR yeah, on the 10th of January so it's a very new plugin just released now and uh, it's a it's they've got a demo so you can please go check it out I'm actually using the demo yeah um, and it's a very full featured demo everything's in there you just can't save which is fine this will give you an idea of what what you're doing and also to be quite honest I, I'm not really positive I'd ever need to save in this so the demo is really full featured and great and and you know you can really sort of uh, check it out using the demo um, all right so let me just basically give you a guide through it. Um, uh, let's just uh, it, it starts off here yeah, on the correction mode. Okay, so this is how it starts off. You would select your headphones. It would start off with a flat response like this, and I'm gonna play some audio. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my Beats uh, Beat Studio Twos, and it'll obviously make a correction. The sun shines just as beautifully right here. It's beautiful right here. It's beautiful right here. It's beautiful right here. As you can tell, there's a drastic change there because I mean, I know for a fact. Let's just go back to my beats again. You know, they do exaggerate the bass. There's no doubt about that. And you can see, yeah, it's cutting it. So, I mean, it's pretty accurate, I'd say. And it, it does. It, it definitely gives me a flatter response. Just bear in mind, guys, you're listening on your monitors right now or with your headphones. So, you're not going to hear the correction that's happening in my cans right now. Um, you know, but you will hear the sound changes, obviously. But you won't know exactly, you know, what I'm hearing in my cans. And I can tell you that it definitely becomes flatter. It's, it's more usable, no doubt. Already that... The, this plugin's only going for 30 euros, which is, uh, you know, I don't know, it's roughly, I don't, I'm not sure, about $40 or something like that. Um, it's it's a steal, really. And as I say, the demo is pretty full-featured, so definitely check it out. Okay, now that's just the, the one feature which I think is pretty cool. So it's corrected my headphones for me. But the other really cool feature about this is it allows you to simulate other devices and then check your mix on those devices. Um so I've corrected now for my uh, Beats Studio 2 headphones, but now I'm going to go to simulation mode, okay? And as you'll see, another little drop-down pops up here where you can select different devices. Now, um, if I select uh, generic studio reference, oh, excuse me there, uh, select ge generic studio reference and we play that. The sun shines just as beautifully right here. It's beautiful right here. So that's just a basic uh, reference sound. Now let's go ahead and put on generic earbuds afterwards and hear how my mix would sound through um, through some you know little uh, iPod type earbuds or whatever. The sun shines just as beautifully right here. All right, and now let's change over. Right here. It's beautiful right here. It's beautiful right. Here. That's definitely, that's fantastic. That definitely sounds like earbuds. And uh, I can already immediately tell that um, because I'm losing all that bass, I'm going to want to go into my bass guitar. And over here, you know, around about between, you know, 100 and something, 250, around about, yeah, I'm going to try get a bit of harmonics and distortion on my bass, that kind of thing. You know, so it, it informs me. It allows me to know that I want... The, the user's not going to hear that, so this and that, you know. We already know, you know, let's face it, we already know that a lot of these curves um, in our heads and things, we already, you know, know a lot of uh, various hard devices sound. 
Um, but this really, because of the simulation, gives you a, a proper clear idea and allows you to make changes even while it's still on, which would be great. Um, so let me just switch to a generic hi-fi. The sun shines just as beautifully right here. It's beautiful right here. It's beautiful and I'll switch right to some different right headphones. Here. It's beautiful right here. As you can see, it, it drastically changes and, and it, it seems like they've really captured the impulse response, if I'm not mistaken, um, I think it's called that. They've really captured it perfectly on all of these pairs of headphones that they've got. Now, I'm not positive whether they're ever going to be updating this list, but I'm pretty sure they would. I don't think they would just leave it stagnant and never bother going back and changing. So if your, if your cans aren't really here to start with, there's already a lot of them, but if, if they aren't, then, um, you know, no stress. Um, you could obviously get something that sounds very close to yours. Um, but if they aren't, they aren't. And that's uh, unfortunately something you're just going to have to deal with. Um, you know, maybe check out the demo and see if they are. And that way it'll help you. Because it really, if, 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 if it's not, I worry that you'd be not correcting properly and then not simulating properly, which means you might be defeating the point um, of the plugin. So there we go. Um, that's the basic uh, two modes of the plugin. But guys, um, there's also a custom here. So if, for example, you felt that uh, the space is being exaggerated too much on a certain, you know, whatever the case is, you can, you can correct whatever you want yourself, and that's when you would save if you, if you were, you know, if you weren't using the demo. And again, like I said, I would actually probably never use this custom feature, which would mean that uh, I'd never really need to save much. Um, but nonetheless, again, this is a nice uh, uh, thirty euros plugin, nice and cheap, and it does a really great job. Alright, um, please subscribe if you like my videos, and uh, thanks, catch you later.